Good day, friends. It is me, H.O. Mod Tech, and I just snagged an enclosure for a 3D printer. It's time to assemble, so let's get cracking. Friends, let's see what's in the box. We've got the enclosure, the steps, the rods for assembly, and the corners. First thing I notice is I love that they are labeled one, two, three. If we check the manual, step one is to add the corners, step two is make it look like the box, step three cover it, step four check your zippers. We can do that. Alright friends, so here we go with assembly. These are the verticals. Number two goes in the front and number one extends to the back. So let's quickly knock out the bottom. There's your front on the bottom. This will be one of the sides on the bottom. Eventually we'll attach the top. These slide on so easy. And the length going back. Then I'm going to spin this around so it's closer to me. And attach another corner and another corner and then the thinner one going in between and then simply repeat that process for the other part once again corner corner side going back Side going back. <laughs> Check it out, I missed. I grabbed one from the wrong pile. It's a good double check though. Real easy. We've got that fixed. So that is correct. Once again, spin it around so I've got better access. And corner. And corner. And the front, and the final piece. Bingo. All right, so let's put this together. Vertical, vertical. Once again, spin it around so I have everything close to me. Vertical, vertical. Then so I can get this on camera. I'm going to flip it over and let's attach the bottom. Bingo. Frame built. All right, so now I have grabbed the case with the word enter on the front, making sure that goes up. When you unzip it, it unzips on both sides. So you've got a large opening to get the frame stuffed in there. Now this is a ton of fun to try and capture on camera, but what I'm doing is just sliding that frame in, pushing it down into those corners. And bingo, we have got an enclosure. How cool is that? The corners fit nice and snug. Do make sure you have it pushed down all the way. But as you can see, once you have that in there, nice and taut. Bring this one up and over. There we are. 
zippers on both sides so you can go at it from either directions. Friends, that's pretty darn fun and fast. And a nice clear area to watch your stuff 3D print. And here we are friends with the enclosure and the Mingda Magician X2. As you can tell friends, it is printing like a dream. There is plenty of space left and right. The only issue I have is that this printer goes above the edge. I do have a solution I'm working on, but right now I am just printing with it open. There you can see it all zipped up. Not quite as clear as looking through without it covered, but as you can see, still visible. If we come around this side, there is a storage pocket. If we come around here, we have got an access area. That is where I'm sending my cord through. And then if you come around the back, that is where you're supposed to send your cord through. Mine just doesn't reach. Once again, nice zippered access. And a really slick enclosure for your 3D printer. Friends, of course, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.